area you may find yourself i am juliana duro of the juliana duro foundation and i'm coming your way this morning this beautiful day hey guys join me in my kitchen let's make this breakfast together so guys today i want us to make baking an omelet yes so today i am making bacon and broccoli omelet and i want you all to join me as we do this together hey hey hey, hey. first time cooking on my youtube channel so it's time to celebrate let's get on it guys so first of all let me introduce my ingredients so i have my eggs i always love to use the brown eggs so you can choose to use either the brown either the white whatsoever egg you want to use you can choose to use those these are the large eggs and i already have three of them already opened up in here and all i have to do is actually to beat it because i already got it out in my bowl bowl ready to cook it all right guys and i have my cheese i have two cheese you can choose and pick whichever cheese you 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 want and but i have the yellow american cheese and here is my oil i always use the canola oil to cook you can use also whatever oil that you choose to i have my bacon is already cooked and it is already crushed up and it's all in here and this is my black pepper and i use it for taste the black pepper is in here and it will give my food a taste that i like and then i have salt also for taste so with the salt and um, for taste and then the black pepper for seasoning is gonna come out mm -hmm. so sweet so good so guys let's get on it now i have also my onions i'm gonna chop this up dice it and then this is my broccoli to add vegetable to my breakfast okay so i'm gonna chop up these onions real quick i'm using a small knife to make it easier for me i shell it and i put it in my disposable stuff so this is how we do it guys this is how i make my breakfast especially now that these children are not even going to school I tend to cook when I'm home, when I'm not at work. I do cook for them and I'll make them like something like omelet and you know, anything simple and easy. Breakfast is not supposed to be too much meal because it's the first meal of the day, right? So my onions is ready to go. I'm dicing it. Guys, does the onions thing get in your eyes? It's so spicy and you can just feel it going into your eyes i'm using the red onions seem like the red onions does that more than the white one does but i do like the red onions i feel like it's more tastier again it's a matter of preference you use whatever you like to make your food this is my onions i think i got enough onions for now and then i'm gonna this is a head of broccoli i'm gonna cut up some of it to make this breakfast and it's gonna be so delicious and so yum 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 so guys let's do this cut this up chop this up chop this up chop this up hey 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 all right let's go so we chop this up and we chop this up and see it doesn't take too long to make this breakfast i'm telling you but it's very nutritious because it has the vegetables in it and it has the cheese in it when we talk about lipids talking about the oil the good cholesterol the cheese has it the egg 
has your protein and it has your fat too so that goes good to make it a balanced breakfast all right so i got it this all together oh all righty think it's all dashed up and good enough and the next thing we're gonna do is head down to the stove so we can get this all mixed together and i'll show you guys how i make mine all right this is good a lot of vegetables guys lots of vegetables for one thing you know vegetables are very good for you right it gives you your vitamins it adds fiber to your food it helps with your bowel movements so i love vegetables i love 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 my veggies guys i hope you do sometimes you have to make it very creative for children to eat it because they don't really like it so if you make it creative your children will eat it so guys let's head on down to the um to the stove so we can finish this stuff it's very simple and it doesn't take a lot of time to make it so guys meet me at the stove let's get this go so hello guys i'm at the stove now we're about to start cooking this food and this is my stove i'm gonna turn it on i got my frying pan it's right here i'm using the small one because it's a small meal so and this small one is gonna help me also to flip it when i get ready to i turn my stove on and i put it up right so i'm gonna let the the pan heat up just a little bit just a little bit i add my oil y'all remember the canola oil i talked about i add a little bit in here just to cover enough to cover this pan right so it covers the bottom of the pan although this is a non-stick pan it's still not gonna stick so the oil helps it even out some more right i always like to add some of the salt to my to my egg so i'm gonna add some salt to the egg i got some of my salt added to my egg right so why this oil is warm enough i believe it's a little warm now i'm gonna add my onions remember the onions that i chopped up is right here i'm gonna add some of the onions to the food i add some of my onions to it and then i let it cook some more So the onions is being added and it is cooking it's cooking guys can you see it so while the onions is cooking and it's looking good just a little brown i'm gonna turn the light up just a little bit i turn my heat up a little bit and let the onions cook some more so while my onions is cooking waiting for it to turn just a little bit brown just a little bit brown i beg let me hold on to this pan before this oil you come my father for my body i beg before it will come and waste on my body so let me just hold this we don't need no accidents right <laughs> so i'm cooking it guys just letting it cook just a little bit more just a little bit more just a little bit more so it doesn't taste too raw and too fresh right so that's being cooked it's looking good and it smells i wish you all can smell it it smells really nice mm, yum 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 it's getting me hungry guys i love baking 
and broccoli omelets. All right. Looks like it's almost there, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Looking good. Looking delicious. I got my bacon. I got my bacon. And I'm going to put it in here. For people that don't know, bacon is from pig. But if you don't eat pig, because I know some people, because of religion, they do not eat pig. So if you don't eat pig, you can use chicken for your uh, um, protein. You can also use um, you can also use beef, ground beef. Whatever you choose to use is fine. It's fine. So I'm gonna put some of it in here, and I'm gonna cook it some more. I'm gonna cook it some more. And it's cooking. I'm gonna add. My black pepper, I love some black pepper, guys. I put some of my black pepper in it. Black pepper is good. Then I add my broccoli. Mr. Broccoli is going in, guys. Got my broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Broccoli is good for you. It gives you vitamin, it adds protein to, um, not protein. It adds uh, fiber to your meal so that when you use the bathroom, it is not too hot. So, that is cooking, guys. Just give it a few more minutes to cook some more. Yep. It's cooking, it's cooking looking yum 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 and delicious yum 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 and delicious guys the broccoli I love to cook it just a little more so that it doesn't taste too fresh in my mouth although some people eat it raw so it depends on what you want to do actually it's simmering and it smells you should smell it you sh I wish you can smell the combination of the bacon and the onions and the vegetable the broccoli in here it is so good and for people that don't have access to broccoli you can actually use any vegetable of your choice that you can get all right and you watch it cook you can tell when it's almost done the bacon is gonna get browner the broccoli is still good even though I like to cook my broccoli, I like it to be not too tough and not too tender. So the next thing I do is to add my eggs. I'm going to add this egg to this mixture, this lovely mixture that is cooking. Ooh, guys, it's cooking. All right. Here we go. The egg is in. And I'm going to turn the heat down just a little tiny bit so it does not burn. All right. And we're going to watch this cook for a little while. Just a little bit. Omelette is a meal I learned to make when I came to the United States of America. And I love it so much. It is so good. It is very filling. I think because of the fat in it, the lipid is so filling. And you know, vegetable fiber fits you up too. So I, I kind of, I love to make this. So. It's cooking. And while that's going on, I always like to kind of open it up a little bit. And let some of those eggs that are sitting up kind of head under. I open it up and let the oil, the, let it head under. That way it's cooked. And it's cooking and it smells so delicious, guys. 
Yes, it smells really, really, really good. Who is getting hungry? I know I am. <laughs> we about to eat some good stuff. Some goody, some goody, goody, goody. Mm, 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 goody. Yep. It's good. Looks wonderful, guys. I'm just getting some of those eggs sitting up to go down. Make it so wonderful. So yummy. So good. So delicious. It's actually a very simple meal and a cheap one because it doesn't cost a lot to get out these ingredients. And most of the stuff you're going to use, you already have in the house. Anyways, if you don't have black pepper, mm, you can actually use any pepper that you have. I like black pepper. I like it. It's, it, it's a good seasoning. It smells really nice. But for some people that don't eat it, or if you don't like it, you can go ahead and use any other, any other one that you like. Okay? So. This is going so good and so well. let's see what the, it looks like it's turning brown it's turning brown i let it cook until the the, the back turns to brown that's how i make mine anybody that can make this when it turns brown is well done for me that's what i like so that's how i make mine see mm. oh my goodness looks like something that fell from the sky so beautiful, so yummy. So beautiful, so yummy. So beautiful, so yummy. Jay, this is good. This is so good. All right. So guys, actually, after making this breakfast, I want us to have a little discussion called the van uh, vanity of life. We will talk about life and what this all this life is all about. Yeah. Because guess what? In the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes lets us know that vanity upon vanity, that all is vanity. What is this life truly about? Yeah. We're here, we're struggling, we're walking, we're running around. What is life really all about? Are we are really created here to just run around and then at the end of it all, where do we end up? So guys, I'm going to add, see that cheese that I showed earlier? It's time to add it because the back is not cooked so i'm about to flip it so i'm gonna add my cheese i'm gonna use two for this so looks like we need to turn this down some more i got my cheese in and it's time to flip it so turn it until it flips it looks so good so good i flipped it and it's almost time to get it out my food is ready see it's cooking let me get a plate guys I'm back with my plate and I'm about to empty my food out to put it in the plate and you will be time to eat it it looks so wonderful guys it looks so 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 delicious so delicious and I put it on the table wow do you see what it looks like do you see it it looks good so this is called bacon and broccoli omelets i'm gonna turn my stove off guys 
and I'll see you guys at the dining table so we can finish our discussion.